हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ सुभाष नागर से फ्रॉम श्री दिगंबर जैन गुरुकुल हाई स्कूल सोलापुर आई शैल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस ऑनलाइन सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन मैथमेटिक्स पार्ट टू कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री पार्ट फाइव फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड विद द फॉलोइंग इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स सेक्शन फॉर्म्यूला कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए सेगमेंट सेंड्रॉइड फॉर्म्यूला टुडे वी विल डिस्कस विथ स्लोप ऑफ ए लाइन फ्रेंड्स वट डू मीन बाय स्लोप ऑफ ए लाइन द स्लोप ऑफ ए लाइन इज अ नंबर दैट मेजर्स इट्स स्टिपनेस इट इज द चेंज इन वाई फॉर ए यूनिट चेंज इन एक्स अलॉन्ग द लाइन सो let us discuss about this slope direction positive slope means what here y increases as x increases so the line slopes upward to the right so the slope will be a positive number you could see in the figure negative slope here y decreases as x increases so the line slopes downwards to the right so the slope will be a negative number friends next zero slope here y does not change as x increases you can see in the figure so the line is exactly horizontal the slope of a, any horizontal line is always zero so the line on the right goes neither up nor down as x increases so its slope is zero friends undefined slope now when the line is exactly vertical you can see in the figure it does not change a defined slope the two x coordinates are the same so the difference is zero when we divide anything by zero the result has no meaning the line above is exactly vertical so it has no defined slope we say that the slope of the line ab is undefined now we will discuss slope of a line if x1 y1 and x2 y2 are any two points on line l the ratio y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 is called the slope of the line l generally slope is shown by letter m therefore you can write m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so what is the slope of the x axis in the adjoining figure a x1 0 and b x2 0 are two points on the x axis therefore slope of this x axis is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 now we'll substitute the values which is equal to 0 minus 0 upon x2 minus x1 which will be 0 upon x2 minus x1 that leads to 0 therefore slope of the x axis is 0 friends now slope of the line parallel to x axis in the adjoining figure line l is parallel to x axis and point p 0 y and q x y are any two points on the line l so the slope of this line l is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 which equal to y minus y upon x minus 0 so y minus y is 0 upon x that is 0 so you can say the slope of the line parallel to x axis is zero slope of the y axis now in the adjoining figure a 0 y1 and b 0 y2 are two points on the y axis you can see in the figure the slope of this y axis is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 which will be y2 minus y1 upon 0 minus 0 therefore y2 minus y1 upon 0 is not defined friends therefore slope of this y axis is cannot be determined now friends we will see slope of the line parallel to y axis in the adjoining figure you can see in the figure line n which is with red color parallel to y axis and points p x0 and q x y are any two points on the line n therefore slope of this line n is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 now we'll substitute the values that 0 minus y upon uh, x minus x that will be minus y upon 0 which will be equal to 
that is not defined. Therefore, slope of the line parallel to y-axis cannot be determined. Now, we will see slope of the line using ratio in trigonometry. Friends, in the adjoining figure, points P x1 y1 and Q x2 y2 are on line L. You can see in the figure which is shown with red color. Line L intersects x axis at point T. Segment QS perpendicular to x axis. Segment PR is perpendicular to QS. Therefore, segment PR is parallel to segment TS. See the figure. Therefore, QR is equal to y2 minus y1 and PR is equal to x2 minus y x1 from the figure. We can write it one. Therefore, now QR upon PR is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 statement number 1. Line TQ makes an angle theta with the x-axis. It is shown with red color theta. Segment PR is parallel to x-axis and line L transversal. By using corresponding angle test, we can write that angle QTS is equal to angle QPR which is theta. Therefore, in triangle QPR, angle R is equal to 90 and angle QPR is equal to also theta. Therefore, QR upon PR is equal to tan theta statement 2 by the definition of the tan ratio. Tan ratio is nothing but the ratio of opposite side upon adjacent side. Therefore, y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 is equal to tan theta from statement 1 and statement 2. Therefore, we can replace this y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 by m. Therefore, m is equal to tan theta where m is the slope. So, from this we can define the slope of any another way. The tan ratio of an angle made by the line with the positive direction of x-axis is called as the slope of that line. So, friends, now slope of the line parallel lines we will consider. In the adjoining figure, you can see here two lines. Line P and line Q with red color shown make an angle theta with the positive direction of x axis. Therefore, line L P is parallel to line Q. This is corresponding angle. Consider point A minus 3 0 and point B 0 3 on the line P. You can see in the figure. Therefore, slope of line P is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1, which is equal to, now substitute the values, 3 minus 0 upon 0 minus of minus 3, which is equal to, 3 minus 0 is 3, and 0 minus of minus 3 is 0 plus 3, therefore, 3 upon 3 is equal to 1, statement 1. Also, consider point C, 0 minus 1.5 uh, and point D, 1.5 and 0 on the line On the line Q, you can say. Therefore, slope of line Q is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1, which is equal to 0 minus of minus 1.5 upon 1.5 minus 0, which is equal to 0 plus 1.5 upon 1.5, which is 1.5 upon 1.5, that is 1. This is statement 2. From the 1 and 2, you can say that slope of line P is equal to slope of line Q. Therefore, on the contrary, when any two lines have same slopes, these lines make equal angle with the positive direction of x axis. Therefore, those two lines are said to be parallel. If the lines are parallel, then slopes are equal. If slopes are equal, then you can say that lines are parallel. Friends, now you see some problems based on this content. One, angles made by the line with the positive direction of x axis 60 find the slope of the line. Here, angle is given. We know that angles made by the line with the positive direction of x axis is theta which is 60. Therefore, slope of the line m which is tan theta which is equal to tan of 60. Table that we have been already learned in the previous year. Uh, value of tan 60 is root 3. So, the slope of the line will become root of 3. Problem 2 now. Find the slope of the lines passing through the point P minus 3 1 and Q phi u minus 2. We know that here P minus 3 1 which we can write p x 1 y 1 therefore x 1 is minus 3 and y 1 is 3 similarly point q phi u minus 2 could be q x 2 and y 2 therefore x 2 is 5 and y 2 is minus 2 now we will use the formula slope of the line p q is equal to y 2 minus y 1 upon x 2 minus x 1 now substitute the values y 2 minus 2 y 1 that is minus 1 divided by x 2 is 5 minus of x value 
एक्स वन इज माइनस थ्री देर फोर माइनस थ्री अपॉन एट देर फोर स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री अपॉन एट लेट सी थर्ड प्रॉब्लम फाइंड द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन पासिंग थ्रू द पॉइंट टी जीरो माइनस थ्री एंड एस जीरो फोर अगेन हियर टी जीरो माइनस थ्री कैन बी टी एक्स वन बाई वन सो एक्स वन इज जीरो एंड बाई वन इज माइनस थ्री सिमिलरली फॉर एस जीरो फोर एस एक्स टू बाई टू सो वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टू इज जीरो एंड वाई टू इज फोर सो वी कैन डायरेक्टली यूज स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन टी एस इज इक्वल टू वाई टू माइनस वाई वन अपॉन एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मुला विच इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस ऑफ माइनस थ्री अपॉन जीरो माइनस जीरो देर फोर सेवन अपॉन जीरो सेवन अपॉन जीरो इट इज नॉट डिफाइंड देर फोर वी कैन राइट द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन टी एस कैनॉट बी डिटरमाइंड प्रॉब्लम फोर डिटरमाइन विदर द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स एल टू फाइव एम थ्री थ्री एंड एन फाइव वन आर को लिनियर और नॉट फ्रेंड्स यू कैन सी हियर वट आर द गिवन द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ थ्री पॉइंट्स एल टू फाइव एम थ्री थ्री एन फाइव वन इज गिवन सो स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन एल एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री माइनस फाइव अपॉन थ्री माइनस टू दैट इज एक्स वाई कॉर्डिनेट डिफरेंस अपॉन एक्स कॉर्डिनेट डिफरेंस एल एम देर फोर थ्री माइनस फाइव दैट इज माइनस टू अपॉन वन विच इज माइनस टू देर फोर स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन एम एन इज ऑल्सो वन माइनस थ्री अपॉन फाइव माइनस थ्री माइनस टू अपॉन टू दैट इज माइनस वन हियर यू कैन से दैट स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन एल एम इज माइनस टू एंड एम एन इज माइनस वन विच इज नॉट सेम देर फोर लाइन स्लोप ऑफ लाइन एल एम इज नॉट इक्वल टू स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन एम एन इफ स्लोप आर नॉट इक्वल द लाइन्स विल नॉट बी को लिनियर वी कैन से दैट पॉइंट एल एम एंड एन आर नॉट को लिनियर नो लेट एस डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम नंबर फाइव डिटरमाइन फेदर द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स ए माइनस फोर फोर के माइनस टू फाइव बाई टू एंड एन फोर माइनस टू आर को लिनियर और नॉट हियर फो ए माइनस फोर फोर के माइनस टू फाइव बाई टू एन फोर माइनस टू इट इज गिवन स्लोप ऑफ लाइन ए के इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई टू माइनस फोर अपॉन माइनस टू माइनस ऑफ माइनस फोर दैट इज फाइव माइनस एट बाई टू सो माइनस टू प्लस फोर दैट इज माइनस थ्री बाई टू अपॉन टू दैट इज माइनस थ्री अपॉन फोर स्लोप ऑफ लाइन ए के इज माइनस थ्री अपॉन फोर very easy problems only you have to follow up the basic mathematical operations here slope of line kn is equal to now minus 2 minus of minus 5 by 2 upon 4 minus of minus 2 substituting the values of coordinates of k and n therefore minus 4 minus 5 upon 2 upon 6 which is equal to minus 9 by 2 upon 6 that is minus 3 upon 4 after simplification you are getting if the slope of line ak and kn are equal स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन ए के इज इक्वल टू स्लोप ऑफ लाइन के एन देर फोर यू कैन राइट पॉइंट ए के एंड एन आर को लिनियर एज द स्लोप आर इक्वल नो प्रॉब्लम नंबर सिक्स शो दैट ए माइनस फोर माइनस सेवन बी माइनस वन टू सी एट फाइव एंड डी फाइव माइनस फोर आर द वर्टाइस ऑफ ए पैरलोग्राम फ्रेंड्स यू आर यू कैन सी फोर पॉइंट्स आर गिवन एंड दीज फोर पॉइंट्स कोआर्डिनेट्स आर ऑल्सो गिवन हियर ए माइनस फोर माइनस सेवन बी माइनस वन टू सी एट फाइव एंड डी फाइव माइनस फोर these are the coordinates of respective points so for line ab is equal to now we will substitute the values 2 minus of minus 7 upon minus 1 minus of minus 4 that is 2 plus 7 upon minus 1 plus 4 that is 2 plus 7 is 9 and 4 minus 1 is 3 9 upon 3 is 3 it is statement 1 now slope of the line bc is equal to 5 minus 2 8 minus of minus 1 5 minus 2 is 3 and 8 plus 1 3 upon 9 After simplification, one upon three statement two. You can see here statement one I shown with different color and statement three shown with different color. So sl now slope of line CD, which is equal to minus four minus five upon five minus eight. So minus nine at the numerator and minus three at the denominator. We can say nine upon three, which is equal to three statement three. One and three have the same color now. Now let us. Uh, find one more slope, slope of the line AD, which is equal to minus four, minus of minus seven upon five minus of minus four. So which will be equal to minus four plus seven upon five plus four. So minus four plus seven is three, and uh, at the denominator it is nine. Three upon nine is one third. Still statement number four. Set so statement two and four have same color blue, and uh, one and three have same color. Uh, therefore, we can say here that from one and three. we can say that slope of line a line cd we can say that line ab is parallel to line cd lines with equal slopes again from 2 and 
slope of line BC is equal to slope of line AD. Therefore, we can say that line BC is parallel to line AD. Friends, you can show see here that uh, two statements shown with the blue color where line AB is parallel to CD and line BC is parallel to line AD. These are the opposite sides. Therefore, opposite sides are parallel limits. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Therefore, the vertices A, B, C, D are the forming parallelogram. Next, we will consider problem number 7. Find K if B, K minus 5 and C, 1, 2 and slope of this line is 7. We have to find out the value of K. Here, B, K minus 5, C, 1, 2 and slope of the line BC is equal to 7 given. We know that slope of the line BC is equal to 2 minus of minus 5 upon 1 minus k. Therefore, 7 is equal to 2 plus k upon 1 minus k. Cross multiply. 1 minus k is equal to 7 upon 7. Therefore, 1 minus k is equal to 1. Therefore, k is minus k is equal to k minus 1. Therefore, minus k is equal to 0. Therefore, you can write k is equal to 0. So, friends, one more problem we will consider. Find k if pq is parallel to rs and p24, q36 and r31 and s5 k. Here, what are the given things is p24, q36, r31 and s5 k. And one more thing they have given hint, pq is parallel to rs. Since parallel lines have equal slopes, we have that slope of line pq is equal to slope of line rs. Now, we will find to the left hand side slope of line pq. And to the right hand side, slope of the line Rs. So, to the left, it will come 6 minus 4 upon 3 minus 2. To the right, k minus 1 upon 5 minus 3. We, are, we have substituted the values of coordinates. Therefore, 6 minus 4 is 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1. And k minus 1 as it is on the right hand side, divided by 5 minus 3 is 2. So, 2 upon 1 is equal to k minus 1 upon 2. Therefore, cross multiply 2 into 2 is equal to k minus 1 into 1 is k minus 1 itself. Therefore, k minus 1 is equal to 2 to the 4. Therefore, k is equal to 4 plus 1. Therefore, k is equal to 5. This is the value of k. So, friends, uh, what we have been discussed today is uh, we discuss the problems based on the following subtopics that is, slope of a line, slope direction, slopes of the x axis, slope of the line parallel to x axis, slope of the y axis, slope of the lines parallel to y axis, and slope the line using ratio in trigonometry and problems based on this content. So, uh, you will try this following. Angles made by the line with the positive direction of x axis 45 find the slope of this line that we know that you already did. Find the slope of the line passing through the points E minus 4 minus 2 F 6 3. Determine whether the following points that is L 2 5 M 3 3 N 5 1 and uh, this P 2 minus 5 are collinear or not. Fourth one, if A 1 minus 1, B 0 4, C minus 5 3 are the vertices of a triangle, then find the slope of each side. Find K if R 1 minus 1, yes, minus 2 K and slope of the line RS is minus 2. So friends, I think you understood. Now one more sentence for you. You should keep in mind that the learner always begins by finding fault. Very, It is a natural, natural tendency of the human being. The learner always begins by finding the fault, but the scholar sees the positive merit in everything. So, if you like this video, please subscribe, share. With these words, I would like to say thank you.